so here's the example, uh, the clustered case example. So here's the point distribution, and here's the distribution rewritten just in terms of numbers. These are the quadrats, and here we have the number of points per quadrat. We calculate the variance, we calculate the mean, we calculate the variance to mean ratio, and we calculate chi-squared as m minus 1 times VMR. So we have 9 times the VMR, which equals 80.1. So if we were to assume that alpha is 5%, we just said that we are going to have a critical value on the right tail of 16.9. The actual chi-squared is 80.1, which is well into the zone of rejection, so we're going to reject the null hypothesis. And this proves to us that this point distribution over here is not randomly distributed or it proves to us that the population that this sample came from is not randomly distributed. We can be 95% sure that the population this came from is not a random distribution. Here's the uh, uniform case. I changed it ever so slightly. I moved a couple points around just because um, I wanted to have a non-zero VMR. So the variance now is 0.67 and the VMR is almost zero, but it's 0 0.033. And now our chi-squared is 0 0.29. And remember that the critical value, if we put 5% in the left tail, because here the alternative hypothesis is that instead of being random, the data are uniform, so it's a left tail test, which had a critical value of 3.3, we can as you, again, reject the null hypothesis that this spatial point pattern is random.